depends as you know motor we use if any problem occurs in winding of motor then first of all this type of insulation tester is used to check motor so how to check this motor let us learn this to check any motor there are total three ways among these first way is winding of motor here what is the resistance of this winding we have to measure this it means we have to do continuity test of motor winding for continuity test if you want you can use multimeter or you can use insulation tester also so i am explaining you testing through insulation tester what you have to do simply select the continuity position in insulation tester after selecting continuity position probes of insulation tester here you will get two probes along with the insulation tester one will be red probe and other will be black probe take one probe among these and u1 terminal here with this terminal connect one probe now winding which is connected at u1 terminal other end of this is connected at u2 terminal so with u2 terminal you have to connect the other probe after connecting this press the test button in insulation tester so i am pressing this you can see we are getting resistance here 26.91 ohm so i am noting down this value as you saw between u1 and u2 terminal we got resistance value as 26.91 ohm now after this what we have to do this other winding here v1 and v2 winding here with this winding connect the probes and press the test button in insulation tester on pressing button value will be displayed on screen 26.92 ohm resistance we are getting so i am noting down this value also we are getting resistance here as 26.92 ohm after this third winding here we will measure the resistance of this winding also so i am measuring the resistance of third winding here on measuring we are getting value 26.91 ohm it means here also resistance value is same this third winding here w1 w2 value of this is also 26.91 ohm as you can see this continuity test here in this continuity test for all the three windings we are getting same resistance value here is the difference of 0.01 ohm but it is almost same if resistance of your motor is balanced i mean values are same then in this condition winding of motor here there is no problem in this winding now apart from the values of resistance suppose if you get values of resistance as 26 ohm 24 ohm and here you will get 29 ohm if it shows unbalanced resistance like this i mean if there is a difference in values of resistance then in this condition you can say motor you have there is some problem in the winding of motor due to which resistance got unbalanced so resistance of your motor must always be balanced after measuring resistance we are going to measure ir value to measure ir value there are two ways first is we can measure ir value winding to winding after this second way is winding to body ir test so first of all we are doing winding to winding ir test for winding to winding ir test what we have to do between u1 and v1 we have to measure resistance it means inside the motor three windings which are there in this way three windings are there so among these three windings between any two windings how much is the insulation we have to measure this to measure this what we will do at u1 terminal and v1 terminal we will measure ir value or if we want between u2 and v2 also we can measure ir value it means we can measure ir value here or here we will get the same value because winding is same see whenever you go for measuring ir value you have to select voltage also here for now motor i have operating voltage of this motor is 415 volts in this condition i will use 500 volt position here for measuring ir value of this motor after selecting 500 volt take these probes and connect with the winding connect one probe with u1 and connect other probe with v1 after connecting press this button after pressing button we will get ir value you can see it is showing ir value as 20.99 giga ohm it means megar i have maximum value of this megar is 20.99 giga ohm so it is showing the whole maximum value in some of the megar it shows ol whether it is ol or maximum value it is a same thing so for now between these two windings we are getting ir value as 20.99 giga ohm we can say 21 giga ohm also so right now between u1 and v1 we are getting 21 giga ohm ir value and we are using 500 volts here for measuring ir value whenever you measure ir value then on how much voltage you are testing ir write that voltage also 
if you change voltage here then in this condition IR value also get changed. So, we are using 500 volt here for testing. Now, we have to test between V1 and W1. So, I connected this prop with V1 and connected other prop with W1. After connecting press the test button. You can see we are getting same value that is 21 giga ohm IR value we are getting. So, I am writing here 21 giga ohm. Below this also we will get 21 giga ohm IR value. See I am connecting this prop here and connecting other prop at this point. After connecting I am pressing this button. You can see same value we are getting. It means W1 and U1 here between these two also 20.99 giga ohm IR value we are getting. It means for now we can say motor we have all the three winding of motor here between these winding gap is there or we can say insulation of winding this insulation is absolutely ok. This motor which I am using here this motor is completely new this is why we are getting proper IR value. If you go to measure IR value of a used motor then you will get less IR value than this. Now I will tell you on how much IR value we can say there is some problem in motor. Look if you measure IR value here and at the time of measuring you will get value as 0 mega ohm. If you will get 0 mega ohm IR value then it means motor you have winding of this motor got short circuited. Besides if you get 0 0.8, 0 0.7 in this way you get values then in this condition you can say winding of motor here insulation of this winding got weak and soon these windings are going to be short circuit with each other. It means less than 1 mega ohm value if you get then in this condition motor need to be checked. Motor will get checked like if there is dust inside water is there if inside of motor there is a dust or water then in this condition also IR value of motor will get decreased. So, when IR value is very less like these then motor need to be checked. And motor you have if IR value of this is more than 1 mega ohm then in this condition motor is fine. This means that IR value of motor must be at least 1 mega ohm. If it is less than this motor need to be checked. If value is more than this then there is no problem. So, between two windings how to do IR test you understood this. Now, winding to body IR test we have to do. It means winding of motor here by mistake if winding is connected with body of motor to check this we need to do winding to body IR test. For this what you will do all the three windings here we will check the windings with body of motor. Winding of motor here and body of motor here between these two how much insulation resistance is there to measure this what you will do connect one probe of mega with body of motor. After this take second probe and connect this with U2. After connecting this press the test button. After pressing button we got the value 20.99 giga ohm it is showing. Let us check for other windings also. IR value of second winding here is 20.99 giga ohm and IR value of third winding here is also same. So, value we got now is absolutely perfect that is between winding of motor and body of motor resistance of insulation is very high. So, I am writing here between all the three windings we got 21 giga ohm IR value. Friends testing we just did in this testing if we got 0 mega ohm IR value then in this condition we will say winding of motor is connected with body of motor. It means earth fault occurred. Besides if here less than 1 mega ohm IR value we get then in this condition we will say winding of motor we have insulation of this winding got weak. It means again we have to plate insulation on windings or have to be wound again. Besides if we get IR value more than 1 mega ohm besides if we get IR value more than 1 mega ohm then in this condition we will say motor is alright. Right now we are getting 21 giga ohm IR value this means that motor is alright. So, friends through this video we learned that how we will check any motor and that also by using insulation tester. Friends if you like this video then please give like on this video and if you did not subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thanks for watching this video.